I just did a video on my laptop using this egg here showing how to make a pio stencil in plastic with that and now I'm going to show you another way to do that with uh, my iPad. I call this the easy way because bridging is so much faster and easier on it on a, my laptop in particular is not a touch screen so if you have a touch screen laptop this will work beautifully for you. I went to Cricut Images and I filtered by free. I said I was looking for a free image and up here I typed in egg and these are the results that came up. So I'm going to use the same egg that I just did with my laptop. Insert that and then or, oh actually here yeah here's what I'm gonna do. So now in order to bridge this the quick and easy way I'm going to take a screenshot of this and edit this photo getting rid of all that extra stuff done save to photos and then now I'm going to down here at the bottom choose upload select from photo library and I'm going to choose this recent one clean up the background with just a few click oh, remove tool just a few clicks here pretty quick and easy this is faster than placing all of the bridges manually in the laptop or even in my phone or uh, iPad. This is to me much faster even cleaning up the image. Okay so that's cleaned up. Now I'm going to use the eraser tool to place my bridges and all I'm going to do is oop, not that big all I'm going to do, make this smaller. I don't use it typically as small as it can go, but pretty small. And so I just formed a bridge there. I'm going to do the ones all on this side so my hand's out of the way. So all of these closed spaces need bridges. I'm going to make that one move that placement just a little bit. And you would just, I love the undo tool here. I think I'll come from, make this one a little bit smaller to get into there. And I would make sure that these cuts were, see how that's digging in a little bit. I would fix that, but. For the purposes of the video, I'm just really showing you how to do it more than anything. Oh, that one was bigger again. There we go. Ah. So just that simple, everywhere you have a closed space, we would need to place a bridge. I like putting them on both sides, it gives a little more stability to the uh, stencil once you get wiping across it with your uh, spatula or whatever you use to scrape across. All of these circles are closed, so they are all going to need a bridge. And I would probably, personally, I would probably like put a piece of paper up there so that I made them all straight if I were doing it this way. And there we go. So I would go down from the top here, making sure that every closed space has an exit. And it looks like all of those are done. So that is how fast it is to bridge with a touch screen using a screenshot. You would say next, and depending on your image, if you needed to, you could use the smooth tool and make your lines fatter. This one looked really great to begin with, so it didn't need it. Then you would go to next and name your image and save it. 
once you have done that, you would uh, simply bring in a square. So I'm going to do that with this one that doesn't have the bridges. Say you were making a uh, silk screen, you wouldn't need the bridges. But either way, once you were finished with your image, you would bring in a square to whatever size, edit at the bottom here, 5.5 inches, and size your egg appropriately for your cookie. I'm going to arrange and bring that to the front. So size your egg appropriately for the cookie. Grab both items, align, center, and actions, attach. And that would be ready to um, make. So this particular one here that we're looking at would be ready to make for silk screen. The bridged version that you would have saved and inserted would be ready to go for a plastic stencil. If you have any questions, place them in the comments. Have a great day.